We are joined by track and field head coach Derek Gay to look back at the men's track and field performances for the George Glass Invitational. A lot of guys resting today. What went into that decision? Uh, yeah, we just felt like uh, we were in a, a good spot going into this outdoor season. We had a great first meet down at Emory. Um, and, uh, yeah, I felt like we were just in a, a position where we could rest some guys and it was going to be okay for the rest of the season. So. I think Mitch DeYoung, you could say, would be the headliner today, threw the javelin into orbit all over 60 meters, and then showed his showed his skills on the track. Well, it was like to see him uh, become a track athlete after he does a field athlete. Yeah, well, he missed the school record by about two centimeters uh, in the jab, so as punishment, we made him run the 4x4. Four four. But uh, no, seriously, he, he came up to me and, and you know wanted to run, and we, we actually have done some things in practice. I knew he was capable of it, but he went out there and, and split a 52, and uh, that's a big dude running. Um, so that was a lot of fun to watch. I think most of the team was pretty impressed with that today, too. But certainly, fantastic performance in the javelin, hitting that A standard and coming real close to a, a school record. One of those guys that got a break down at Emory was the pole vaulter, uh, Damon Knowles. He got hurt at Indoor Nationals. You wanted to rest him at Emory, comes out and qualifies for Nationals here in his first quote-unquote outdoor meet of the year, even though they had to do it indoor, indoors. What a see to see Damon bounce back from that tough, a tough breakout at Indoor. Yeah, Indoor, that was tough. You know, going into that meet, um, sitting first place, you know, you're the favorite to win and, and tweaked his hamstring a little bit. Uh, and we did not want to have him sit on a bus for 10 hours and, and jump at Emory to kind of test it out for the first time. And then this week's TU Athlete of the Week, Liam Hesting comes back, qualified in all three of his events for the national championships coming up in May, but he bounces right back here in the, in the home meet, has a couple of other big throws here to add to his total for the year. Yeah, I think a couple more uh, top three finishes and the shot, disc, and the hammer. Uh, again, he's just somebody that goes out and performs every week, and it's just fun to watch.